What's up, YouTube? This video is brought to you by Webull. If you'd like to help out the channel and get some free stocks, make sure you check out my link below. Hey, I'm Chris Sane, and today is about a stock that we bought 100 shares in. Guys, listen, we got so much information to cover. I got a homework assignment for you guys as well. So listen, follow me all the way through with this one, guys. And listen, man, if I helped you in any way, whether that was make some money or give you a new perspective on the stock market, please like and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, guys, we had a pretty wild day in the market, man. So listen, you know, for me, I actually love days like today, okay? There were ample opportunities with everything being in the red primarily. However, it gives us a few opportunities, man. One in particular is about a few options that we can do on the bounce back of some of these plays. I'm gonna throw you guys one, and then I'm gonna ask you guys if you wanna do one for next week uh, as well when we get back to the market being back to normal, okay? But listen, guys, today I got a few updates on our challenges, okay? You know, we got the dividend high growth challenge and we got the 100K challenge. Listen, I need you guys right now, starting tomorrow morning, because this is your last day to do this, for our particular play in Maine, okay? That's our monthly dividend play. Guys, check this out. This right here is what's known as the X dividend day. You need to buy your plays, and but this one in particular, Maine, by this particular date. In this case, the date is January 4th, in order for it to count for the payout, okay, which will be January 15th. However, the market is closed Thursday and Friday, and you can't buy it on the actual 4th. You need to buy all your plays one day before. So the homework is go through the four plays, main, AT&T, BGS, and CWC, and look at on NASDAQ.com when the X dividend date is so that you know when to buy your plays by and have your positions for that particular month built out okay i want to start you off with maine because again january 1st we officially kicking this off and so i want you to at least have that first payment that hits because you got in right before the x dividend day so we're all going to buy this tomorrow which is the last day of the year basically to get this play for us okay and then as much as you can build this out, I want you to do that so that when we get that first monthly payout, you got a couple dollars, a couple cents rolling in, okay? And then we're going to keep building from that, building from that, all right? Next, guys, I wanted to talk about the 100K challenge. Many of you ask, how much do you need to get started? Okay, so with the dividends, guys, you can dollar cost average into that. You can put a lump sum into that like I did. Did you see my portfolio was up? That's the 10,000 that I put in to the dividend plays, 2,500 each play, okay? So for the 100K challenge, all you need is 500 minimum or no more than $2,000 for me to show you guys how to turn that into 100K by the end of the year. Long as you stay consistent with everything we'll do on the 12 month journey, okay? So again, don't think you gotta have an arm and a leg to get involved. Don't think you gotta have hundreds of thousands of dollars to do this, $500. I don't care if you pull that from one of our plays. I don't care if you use that when this uh, new stimulus money comes. Whenever you can, just jump in with us. I make relevant content so that you can pick up and start with us whatever day you see these videos, okay? All you gotta do is look at what price point that we bought the stock set and follow along. Those are just some guidelines I wanted to give so that if you had questions or needed clarity about either of the challenges, you had that information to get started with, okay? A quick update on NEO. Did you guys see the volatility in NEO today? Right now, it is up four and a half percent, over four and a half percent for the day, sitting at $46. Listen, guys, you had a chance to get this under $42 today. These are the opportunities that I love in the stock market. I hope some of you that have NEO under 50 that you guys scooped up a few shares in your position today in route to it going back to 50, 55, and then eventually 65, okay? So again, stay the course. These were buying opportunities today. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make even more money by taking advantage of this. Matter of fact, I wanna break down for you what happened today. Today is towards the end of the year. People need to lock in losses. The only way you can lock in a loss Remember, you never lose money in the stock market unless you sell. 
The only way to lock in a loss is everybody had to sell their losers today. So you sell your losers or the plays that you're down in to offset your gain so that you don't have to pay taxes. That's what happened today. It might happen a little more tomorrow. So I want you guys to know why the market was red today. Another buying opportunity was Hylion. Remember guys, I caught Hylion not too long ago at 15. Look at where it's at today, sitting at 1598. Those of you that don't have a position in Hylion or as long as you got it under 20, you can average down. Those of you don't have a position, buy it at 15, okay? Again, we don't like Hylion if it's 20 or above. However, anything under 20, we love Hylion as a long-term play, okay? So guys, again, this is an opportunity for you to jump in on and do your thing with, okay? And this could be a long-term play for you in terms of building and growing your wealth. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Don't be dismayed by it being a red day. This is a chance to scoop up more shares for your highly on play. I'm currently sitting at 100 shares with an average cost of 15.67. When I get in the market tomorrow, if I catch it at 15 again, I'm going to buy it up some more, okay? I'm probably buy another 100 shares, okay? Again, at 15, we love this play because we know this is a $60 play long term and then really quickly guys fuel cell ticker symbol fcel currently sitting at 1099 listen guys anywhere in the tens nines or elevens i want you guys to consider this right now you got it in the tens pounce all over this if you don't have your position established okay i was able to scoop a little bit of this up at the, in the sevens okay so listen if you can get it at 10, 1099, this is perfect, okay? So listen, guys, I just wanted to highlight those few plays as we get ready to dominate both the dividend side of the game as well as the growth stock side of the game. Up next is our word of the day, and our word of the day is call options. Listen, guys, I love options. I do options every single day. Matter of fact, I want you guys to get to 25,000 in your accounts selfishly so you guys can all do options with me on a daily basis so listen guys i like to do options on a weekly basis and if that's something that interests you make sure you guys take advantage of our weekly option plays okay i'm going to always give you plays on the channel but in addition to the plays on the channel i'm going to give you guys plays that i'm in separate from the channel so that you guys can just grow your money just a little bit more okay and today's like today i love because i'm going to hit a whole bunch of home runs because all the plays that went down today guess what i'm gonna do i'm gonna buy a call option because i know they'll be right back up next week okay so listen guys you got a chance to make some quick good easy money with buying call options okay as well as increase your knowledge on just how to be more successful in doing options one tip that i want to give you guys i don't care if you do my weekly option plays or i don't care if you follow me on the channel with our option plays whatever i tell you guys always try to buy those plays at the lowest number okay so don't be greedy and just run out the gate and just buy because we said we're going to buy fuel cell at ten dollars strike okay you got the information now pat okay but let the stock fall first okay that's where some people might have messed up and gap we bought it might we might have bought it high versus again allow when the dust to settle buy it on the lower end and then let it go up versus buying it high and then it spend the whole time you hold it going down so that's just a nugget i'm going to give i'm not going to always give that unless I'm I'm on a coaching call with you guys and so hopefully you see this video, replay this video, save this video so that you can know that one nugget. Always buy option plays at the low of the day because if not, you mess up your own chance to, to hit. I'm never worried about any option play I give anybody because I know one thing, if you buy it at the right price, if you buy it at the low of the day or the low of the week, you will always do pretty well. I'm talking about 90, 95% success rate. So if you're not hitting, examine when you're buying the option, okay? It's one thing to know the strike, know the expiration date, know what your break even, all that stuff is cool. But where did you actually buy the option play? And that's what I need you guys to be focused in on. If you buying it high, if the strike is 20 and you bought the, and you bought the stock at 1950, and then because it was 1950, you thought it was about to go right to 20, but then it's been the rest of the time going down towards 1817. 
that's on you. That's an amateur mistake that I want to help you guys improve on. However, if the strike price is 20 and it's 1950, you need to let it drop to 1780, 1875, and then you buy it right there, knowing that it's going to go to 20 and beyond. Okay. Again, those are just little tricks of the trade. I know you're not going to get anywhere this plane. Okay, but remember that when it comes to call options, and if you guys want to do options, make sure you check out the weekly option play so you can join me and knocking them off the park on a weekly basis. Up next, guys, we have our question of the day, and our question of the day comes from Big Dog. He says, I bought two $10 call options of Macy's this morning and doubled my money before noon and cashed out. Big dog, I just gotta thank you for sending this in. More importantly, I gotta celebrate you and everybody else that I know hit the home run with Macy's, okay? Listen guys, nine times out of 10, we will knock every option play out the park. However, although I'm gonna celebrate Big dog and all the rest of you guys in the VIP section, what I will make note of is this. We can never account for unforeseen things, okay? Like today, you might have an option play going that the success rate was pretty high when standards were ideal. However, if something come out the blue, like a down day or stimulus don't get passed and it makes the market all red, it brings down your option play, isn't it? So it's no fault of yours, it's no fault of whoever, okay? But sometimes there's unforeseen circumstances that come into the fold that can throw off or otherwise would be good option play. In this particular case, Big dog got in and got out. Now, I talked to like 5,000 of you at least, so I know you guys killed it with Macy's. However, think about today if you're still holding Macy's, you might not have the same success as you had if you didn't sell by yesterday. That's all I'm kind of trying to point out here, okay? Sometimes you got to get in, you got to get out, or as I often say, don't be greedy. Be satisfied if you're up 50%. 80%, 200%, just get in and get out. Don't try to hold too long because in this particular case, you could have held and before you know it, it could have had a day like today happen when we didn't see this coming or some of you might not have seen this coming and then all of a sudden the whole day is down and any plays you might have been in got brought down with it. So listen, big dog, I salute you. And more importantly, I want to celebrate everybody else that also took advantage of any option plays we've been in as a family together. OK, we want to keep those coming. You guys let me know if you want an option play coming up soon so we can end out the year and have something in play for when the new year starts. OK, without further ado, listen, if you guys have questions or comments, let me know. I'll grab them and add them to my next video. Listen, I make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below. And I'll see you all in the next one.